forget my ways, please forget my homies that refuse to spend their days broke and lonely. Some girls do it all to control me, knowing they the ones when it's gone to console me. Shout out to the white chicks, seven up and stoley. I love the first time uh, I came here. Well, I came here like five years in a row to an exhibit. Um, and yeah, he, he's that's who I started my group strong yeah. with. So um, and he was, you know, huge at the time, you know what I mean, coming off a of restless man versus machine and, and then um, we did um, weapons of mass destruction together. So um, we did a lot of big tours here, Eminem, 50 Cent, um, did our own tour here, all the festivals, um, several, you know, solo tours here with X. So um, this is like my, I don't know, seventh time here, but the first yeah, time okay. by myself. Never did my own like show here. You know, it's the first time doing that. So it's like my first time to me. <laughs> I know you're, you're doing your solo stuff now. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a bit about sort of the motivation behind that? What made you sort of want to step out on your own? Um, well, it was always the plan. Um, I, that was even the intention when we went to the group, um, was for us all to eventually go solo. And I think what happened was the group kind of took off, especially in the States. It, it really, you know, took off and, um, record deals and, you know, corporate bullshit, forget my, you know, language, but, uh, it kind of took precedent and, and, you know, you get caught up touring, album, then another album, then another album, next thing you know, seven, eight years go by, you know what I mean, for real. So, um, it was just after, after the last Strong Arm album we did with Static Selector, um, called Stereotype, um, and I made it a point when we were turning that album in, I said, okay, well, this is going to be it for a minute, after this I'm going to go and take a year. I mean, it initially was so bad, I'm going to take a year off and just record my album and then get back in the studio with the guys, but um, that year off was so good <laughs> to me. Um, and, and recording the album, I was having so much fun, I kind of locked in, you know, really locked in and was getting off um, a lot of the stuff that was, you know, kind of, you know, bottled up in me, paused, and, and making it a point to say a lot of the things that I wanted to say, work with a lot of the producers I wanted to work with. Um, a lot of the artists that I developed relationships with over the years, and it was just time. You know, I got a great manager and agent. You know what I mean? Um, and things just started kind of falling in place for me. So. so how's the? I know you said that obviously you're kind of talking about different things, working with different people. How's the kind of creative process? How is it different? What are there anything in particular that you are doing now that you felt like you couldn't do before? Yeah, yeah I can just talk about what I want. I can say what I want. Um, I can work when I want, you know. Um, so how do you how do you feel that sort of stepping out on your own has that has being part of such a big group before? Is that sort of a help or a hindrance at all? No, it's a great help. It's a great help. I mean, you gotta think we experience so much, you know, in the mm -hmm. group. And, um, uh, learned so many lessons. Um, recorded so many great records. Uh, worked with so many great producers. So you know, we were a producer driven group and our producer driven group you know we're not over but we are a producer driven group so that's made me you know a producer driven artist where um, you know it, it, it creates a, a great marriage for great music you know when you have an understanding of all parts being played you know on the field or the court or the studio you know what I'm saying you relate them together so. Um, yeah so that's helped greatly and then just like I say experience you know um, not it's not my first walk around the block even though it's my first walk around the block by myself yeah you know but I've been around the block with the homies several times so um, I know how the block looks <laughs> so uh, um, yeah so that that's helped a great great deal that's good and then people know know me already you know they say oh that's the guy and some people who don't know they go oh, guys it, you know it, it, it's just it, it works yeah. yeah how does the kind of thought process differ when you're creating for yourself or creating for other people um, and how is that kind of helping you now on your own sort of solo career? Yeah, and well, I think it, it it's helping in my solo career in the sense of where um, I'm, I'm able to kind of really figure out my place and part. In it, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, what what do I need to say? Just you know, being a cat who's able to work with so many, like you say, great artists and and be a cat who not only features with them but writes for them. Yeah. Um, 
it allows me to to say, okay, I know where they're going, you know, because I'm, I'm actually along for that ride. Mm -hmm. So now I know where I need to go and where I need to take it completely, especially by myself individually, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It really becomes a question at that point, you know what I mean? And, um, and the process is just, you know, I'm able to be a lot freer. Like the things that I probably wouldn't say here, I could say there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or the, the, the concepts that I probably could not and you know, uh, um, you know, hold to myself. I can, I can, I can definitely indulge in over here. You yeah. know, like when I work with Snoop, first thing, you know, you know, he's a gangster. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, one of the most legendary, you know, ever in music. So with with the dog, I can go and say some more way out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That I probably, you know, I probably could say it too, but I probably wouldn't say it like I, I could say it with him. Okay. You know. Um, I guess it helps you just be a bit more yeah. of a comedian. Yeah, maybe as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I can be, I can be more, more comedian and, and just be a more freer, freer um, creatively. I can be, um, I can create freely and um, and not have any boundaries with that. It's always really interesting, I think, to see sort of how people sort of change and develop over the years. You've been around for over ten years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you think you've kind of changed in 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 that time, and how has that sort of affected? You? you're doing today? Well, my first record came out, I was 17, you know, so I was a kid, I didn't even know, I didn't know shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I don't even think, I, I when I listen to that record, <laughs> now I don't think I know how to rap, you know, <laughs> on the real, um, but, I, it, yeah, I was a kid, so I grew up, it, it, when I think about it, I grew up rapping, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. not knowing that I was doing that, it was just what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so I changed a lot, man. Like I was wild, wild as fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, just coming from um, South Central Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? Not having the, the most, you know, I didn't, my my spoon wasn't silver. You know what I'm saying? It was a rusty spoon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a rusty knife, really. <laughs> so uh, you know, just growing up like that. You know what I mean? I was wild coming into the rap game. You know, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I was saying whatever I wanted to say. Um, I didn't give a fuck about no no rappers or, or creating uh, camaraderie at the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't know the business of music. Um, I didn't know that it was it was only so many dimensions of being a rapper, and to really have a real career and longevity, you have to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, I didn't learn that shit until I was probably like 24, 25, <laughs> to be honest, you know what I'm saying? So. You got there in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, that was experience, probably that, you know? Yeah. So th that's how I've changed, you know, and a lot, you know, over the last 10 years. Um, um, 34 now, so, like, I, I'm now, I feel I'm completely an artist, you know? I'm not a rapper by no means. Mm -hmm. I rap. I can rap very well, <laughs> but I'm, I'm completely an artist. When you think about Cron Down, when you think about Strong Steady in my group, um, you know, we're artists, and, and I'm definitely an artist individual. So. so having seen all of that and sort of all the waves of new people who are coming through, what what is the sort of advice that you would give to, to sort of up-and-coming artists now? You know, I um, sort, sort of sum it all up. I like to use, I'm, I'm really into acronyms, you know what I'm saying? For real, I am, there's no joke. I just think it simplifies things. I like to simplify life, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, it's SAS, you know? Strong arm, steady, silent, shit, whatever, you know? All the way down. Um, I would say DIY, of course. Do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I, I would say BYT, build your team. Right? Um, I would say CWP, connect with people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I would say RTB, <laughs> give them a reason to buy. <laughs> That's a good one, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, you know, do it yourself, build your team, connect with people and, and give them a reason to buy, man, and, and give them a reason to build and, and build with you and, and, and want to you know, come back, really give them a reason though. You know, not just the homies, the world, you know. I always like to close with this one. What's your sort of definition of success? Do you feel you've Waking up that? doing, yeah man, waking up and doing what you love to do every day and making a living at it. Mm -hmm. 
um, and, and providing for your family, doing what you love to do. I don't care if you love delivering mail or whatever, you know, rapping, you know, being a, a you know, a, a, a promoter, manager, whatever. Whatever it is you wake up in the morning and you love to do that shit, it's not, it doesn't feel like a task, you know what I mean? Like you're excited for the day, the next day was coming the next day. Man, you made it, man. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> you made it, man, you know what I'm saying? So, that's my definition, personally, you know. If you could do that your whole life, fuck, you know. Yeah, you're right. You, you got, on, man. You got it made. You got it made, man. Awesome, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Baby, <laughs>